In part two of Cloud Wars, we ask, is Xbox focused right on Amazon and Google right now with the competition from Sony and Nintendo still looming? Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Again, part two of this series, which is called Cloud Wars, all right? Um, before we get too deep into this one, do me a huge favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know the reason why. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. Okay. So, in part one, we talked about the, the flip-floppy nature of the discussion and why uh, some of it is laughable, some of it is just pure denial, and we want people, even if you like cloud gaming or not, at least argue from a place to know. It's time for the internet to stop being just a, a cesspool of false information, just compelling arguments, and not rooted in fact, you know what I'm saying, in emotions. People just living off the teat of another grown man or grown woman's emotions, you know what I'm saying? We got all this connectivity to other people, let's use it for some type of greater good, which is to, sp to spread facts. All right. Um, that being said, there are a series of articles out there um, that's fuming this discussion about cloud gaming and what it means for the gaming future and if it's a good thing or not, you know. And I just want to focus on right now in this video is Xbox, is, is, is their current strategy, is it a good one? Okay. Now, what article am I talking about? Well, let me bring this up here, see if you guys can see that. You guys should be able to see that now. That's from the Big Big Gaming publication, which is gamesindustry.biz. If you're not familiar with them, you better get down. Uh, you know, when not only are they rich in gaming news, however, that's where all of the uh, game makers and or, or console makers, all the big wigs, they go to gameindustry.biz when they want to release some big time statements, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Amazon, Google, you know, um, just to name a few, you know, if they got something important that they want spread out there, they go to gameindustry.biz. Um, Google just did something recently prior to them. I know Microsoft had sent them um, some news late in 2019 to go and cascade out to, to viewers. With that being said, the question that is being posed here is who are Microsoft's real competitors? And this is an opinion piece by Rob Fahey. And I think what Rob is saying is that Microsoft is trying to uh, balance, a, 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 do a delicate balancing act here in regards to how they approach the field right now, but in looking long-term, who is it the people that they're really eyeballing, eyeballing and one of Gazer's success off of. And I agree with a lot of the sentiments, not everything. I agree with a lot of the sentiments in this opinion piece. I mean, and, and, and my homie Rob is entitled to his opinion. Um, one of the things that he says that I don't agree with is he's like, well, Microsoft has to figure things out now, uh, you know, who their competitors are now because nobody's nobody is going to say hmm do i want to get a console with the xbox series x or do i want to get stadia and i could th and i and i say that's too premature to say something like that it's kind of silly of rob to say that but he's entitled to be silly it's a free country it's a free world um you know for the simple fact that stadia is in early access we anybody with their head screwed on right knows that this is not what Stadia is offering, what they're giving out right now. This this isn't the, the, the deal, okay? Um, and you have some people that are interested in cloud gaming, whether it be Stadia or whoever, to say, is there a cheaper way for me to experience next generation style of gaming? Can I get like great fidelity, great performance without having to pay five, six hundred dollars for it. So there's definitely people thinking about that. And even though Stadia might not be prominent in their mind right now because they're not hearing a lot of positive stuff, when bass drops, that's gonna change. That's gonna change. How much? It'll, it'll be determined by uh, Google's future efforts, but it's gonna change. So, you know, if you wanna be rooted in reality, if you wanna be rooted in, in, in factual discourse, I, I don't I don't know where that sentiment comes from. Nonetheless, something that he does say 
that I, I, I hold true is uh, this excerpt from his opinion piece. He says, right here and now, Spencer's Xbox division has competitors, and they're not Google or Amazon. It is Nintendo and Sony with whom it will have to fight tooth and nail for every unit of installed base for the Xbox Series X. This duality is something of an insight into the particular and difficult balancing act that Xbox Division has to perform on a daily basis. Spencer and his team know, I'm sure that much of their job in the near term is convincing people to engage or re-engage with Xbox to treat Xbox Series X as a genuine and legitimate consumer choice to be weighed against Sony and Nintendo's offerings. Um, I wholeheartedly agree with that sentiment. Um, again, not because of the, the foolishness that was expressed earlier, like no one's going to look at it. I mean, albeit Stadia or any cloud solution, that's why it's piquing interest to people. Can I do this without having to drop X amount of money? And for us to say, well, people aren't thinking about state. I mean, that's going to, as soon as base drops, that's going to change. That being said, yes, I get the, the delicate balancing act that Xbox is trying to, um, do but with that being said Perfect. even google stadia with its stumbled launch gets it when they came out they didn't just say hey we're the premier cloud gaming service and we're going to be the best at cloud gaming no they said we are better than consoles for this reason and they said the 10.7 teraflops and i think they could have done a better job at that but i think they were focused in the right lane they just weren't driving at the right speed <laughs> you know what i'm saying like they if they would have focused more on price and convenience and stuff like that opposed to the 10.7 teraflops i think they would have been in a lot better position at launch that being said you got to focus on what people have tangibly in their hands right now and what people tangibly have in their hands right now are they have is that they have the consoles so you can't sit there and make an argument for something that Perfect. you haven't made come to fruition for the vast majority of gamers yet. You know what I'm saying? You can't contrast into nothingness. You know what I'm saying? We're better than nothing. Okay, well, why should I why should I spend money on you being better than nothing or should I not pay in nothing? You know what I'm saying? And stay where I'm at. That's what you gotta prove, Microsoft. And that coincides with your track record. You don't have a great track record of talking about things that are in flight, and I, I believe more often than not prematurely, and making sure that they land properly so people get something, again, tangible in their hands. You don't have the greatest track record of that. So to sit there and bombastically explain why you're looking past Sony and Nintendo, you know what I'm saying, and you think that Xbox is... Um, Xbox is, is, is going to blow people's minds with their with their cloud gaming solution it's it's not it's not in the proper vein that you need to be when you're trying to do such a delicate balance act and that's why i say i've said this last year y'all microsoft is in a peculiar spot because they want to be spread everywhere but they're masters of none <laughs> you know what i'm saying like they don't have the best cloud gaming service, period. And it's going to be a while before they can even contend. They don't have the best cloud gaming service. They don't have the best console. You know what I'm saying? They don't have the best... Uh, uh, um, they don't have the best uh, software. You know what I'm saying? Like, the only thing that they have going in their favor right now is that they have the, they have the best game subscription service. So what they got to do is to bring that in because there's not a lot of people with a lot of them. They got to, they got what's considered the best game subscription service. So if they want, if people, if they want people to fully engage Game Pass the way that they need them to, they need to double down on Game Pass and make Game Pass the best thing. See, I wouldn't go into this whole cloud thing yet. I wouldn't even compete with consoles so much, just offer the most powerful console. But what you need to do is you need to go bees to the knees about Game Pass and why it's going to get even better. Not just off your first party, but what I mean by that, what I'm saying in so many words is you need to go and you need to invest heavily in this subscription service to make it bar none the best. Because I'm going to tell you this much. When Sony drops his PlayStation Now service that's comparable to Game Pass, game over. Game over. It's a wrap. Why, 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 would, I, why would I get... Why would I even need to invest in Game Pass if Sony is dropping their stuff day and day? 
and we know that their software is highly more regarded than yours. And then people are jumping out the window for Grand Theft Auto, which I was one of the people that said, this is great that Game Pass has it, but guess who had it first? PlayStation Now. These people are gonna be more willing to work with PlayStation than they are with you. We've already seen this with some of the lazy development on the Xbox One X. So if you haven't learned your lesson before, you better learn it now. That it's cool that you want to focus on cloud gaming, but it, you're not. You're clearly not ready. You're not ready. You're not ready yet. Work on that infrastructure. Get it up to par. But in the interim, don't look past Sony and Nintendo so slyly and so arrogantly. Rather, talk about how you have Game Pass and they don't. And Game Pass is going to get better. That's what your focus should be. Once you're ready to really to, to fully combat in the cloud space, all you gotta do is flip a switch. And everybody that has a game on Xbox will have Project X Cloud anyway, especially if they have Game Pass. You see what I'm saying? You guys are integrating X Cloud into Game Pass. So I wouldn't get too far ahead. I wouldn't put the carriage before the horse. All right. Talk about Game Pass. Put Game Pass on the pedestal because it's the best thing and really the only thing you got going right now. And then once you do that, xCloud will inherently follow because all you got to do is flip the switch and say, okay, xCloud is ready for full retail and it's part of Game Pass anyway. You know what I'm saying? Again, instead of y'all just echoing whatever Phil, whatever comes out of Phil's mouth, this is where y'all need to kick the tires and hold his feet to the fire and make sure he's speaking with clarity, which makes sense. Regardless if you like it or not, it doesn't matter. You are not going to help this company survive alone. He has to get to people outside of your silos and get them interested in this stuff. And I'm telling you, as I said in part one, as the outside looking in at you guys foolishly, clinging to everything that Phil says, this is bad rhetoric and it doesn't help. So if he is gonna open his mouth, let him be, let him talk in a, in a focused fashion. The focus right now should be Game Pass, not looking past anybody because everybody got their spike backs and they got it swinging at your head. And you gotta be ready for this fight. Do not turn your eye, do not turn your back on anybody because on any given Sunday, anyone is dangerous and with that said that's it from your boy mm2k let me know what you think about what i had to say in the comment section below because like i always tell you who cares what i think but if you did like what i had to say check out the links below to follow me those links will lead you to the broadband bullies pts network hard knock digital culture and the stadia dosage and with that said you all have a wonderful wonderful gaming day peace